So how does Oklahoma skills education stack up to other states? Well, not surprisingly, quite well. Once again, Pathway to Prosperity's Bill Simons. So let's talk in particular about the vocational and technical career tech system here in, in the state of Oklahoma. How is it doing? Well, Rob, you know, uh, since the report came out, I've actually been in more than half the states in the country, all across the country. And this has created interest in uh, blue states as well as red states. It really cuts across the political spectrum. And one thing I've picked up is uh, wherever I go, people are always talking about Oklahoma. I'm not sure how many people here realize that you really are a national leader in uh, career education. And you've set up a system that's, I think, very sustainable and really a model for other states. Uh, one reason for that is that, um, first of all, you believe in high-quality uh, career education uh, through your technology centers. And secondly, even though this is a red state, um, you know, this is financed by a tax, primarily by property tax. Um, business leaders and the general public have supported the idea of let's have a property tax which is going to be used to provide this high-quality career education. And I think you'd agree, if you look at this campus here, this aviation campus, uh, it's a beautiful facility. It's the kind of place that most people would like to go to school. This is all funded um, by, a, uh, by a property tax for the most part, along with some revenue from the general fund. Older students, adult students, pay a modest tuition to come here, but the return, returns are absolutely uh, phenomenal. And unfortunately, we don't have this kind of high quality in, in many states, so I think it's something that could become a national model. Now, there is certainly a movement here in the state to actually put a cap on, on ad valorem property taxes a, a, as well as cut state income taxes, which is actually a move a, a around the nation. Could such moves to lessen the investment in education, could it threaten what you're talking about with Pathways to Prosperity? Well, I think it could in the case of this kind of education. Um, you know, if you look at these planes uh, that we have here in this hangar, uh, this is a lot more expensive to offer than the teacher, for example, is going to talk to you about Tom Sawyer. Uh, you know, all you need there is a book and a, and a desk. Uh, that's about it. So that's a, that's a much less expensive to offer. Here, you've got the actual airplanes. Uh, you need highly trained uh, teachers. They're going to teach them how to maintain these airplanes, tear apart the engines and that kind of thing. So it is a higher investment on the front end. On the back end, though, as I say, you've got students coming out earning a very high income and it's really helping the economy of uh, Oklahoma grow. Oklahoma has a lower unemployment rate than the nation as a whole, and I think this is one reason probably for that success. Well, well certainly some interesting educational forums. Bill Simons, thank you so much. Thank you.